So being in a good friendship, right? Uh, we have to maintain, uh, you know, the right speech, right? And how to speak uh, properly, right? And we have seen that in our society, many problems, misunderstanding, a reason because we don't speak properly, right? We don't speak properly, right? And of course, the Buddha said, if we speak with a pleasant speech, we will get a good friendship, right? <clears throat> and of course, if we speak with very harsh speed, right? Then we create the animosities, right? And we have no friend, and we get a bad friend. And eventually, we will not be welcome in the community. So there is a type of uh, meditation, right? Cultivation of mind called metta bhavana, right? Like this morning, uh, our brothers show us the metta bhavana, right? The metta bhavana. What is metta bhavana? You see, you look at the metta. Metta is coming from the word uh, mitra. Mitra means friend. <clears throat> you see, mitra. bhavana means the cultivation. To, you see, so you want to be a friend of someone. Right? So you have to practice metta bhavana. And how to make, how to, you see, of course, later on, this metta is the abstract nouns, abstract nouns, okay? It's me, being a friend, being a friend. Then you have, you have, what, what do you mean when you talk about being a friend? Uh, you know, you have to practice the loving kindness, you know, have that kind of uh, wishing, you know, someone uh, to be happy, right? So this is a metta. So metta means the loving kindness. So what is loving kindness? It's about radiating, uh, you know, the loving, loving thought, you know, to oneself and to others, right? <clears throat> um, let me see whether I have this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is what I call the voice of harmony, right? And found in, in one of the suttas. Huh? First of all, from Majjhima uh, Sama Gama Suttas, right? The Buddha enumerated these six principles of harmony that lead to love, respect, harmony among the members of the community. So this is applicable to the Sangha as well as uh, lay people as well. Right? So what, what are these six principles? Right? Um, one is the bodily act of the body. Right? It's loving, okay. It means, uh, okay, you look at the English words uh, loving act of body, loving act of speech, and loving act of thought. Uh. It means that your body, speech, and minds are filled with loving thought, okay. Uh. And the Buddha says, uh, other than these things, you know, other than having, doing good deeds, right, having good thought, you know, speak good words, they are not just enough, right? We also need to include other three as well. So what are these three, right? The fourth one is sharing his own possession, <coughs> okay, with his friend. Uh, uh, if we have something extra like we like to share with our our friends right? it means that whatever the, the righteous earning or the gains right that have been obtained right be distributed you know to others members as well okay mm. uh, this is this one I think is more applicable to the Sangha community. That's why we all look the same. <laughs> if it looks very different, then you'll be far different from others. But we all look the same, okay? Uh, without any discrimination. That's why we can live in peace. Yeah? We care each other. Huh? Because you are no different from us. So huh? okay, the fifth one is Observing the five precepts that are pressed by the wise. Okay? And we have a common set of Vinaya huh? to practice together. Two to seven for our bhikkhu. Huh? A five for the lay people. Okay? Is that difficult? No, huh? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Then the last one is the having a view in of unity of views. Okay. So it means that uh, you, we all live with the common right views, right? And that common right views will lead to the destruction of the defilements, okay? Yeah, the right views. What are these right views? This is a practice of the vipassana, okay? <clears throat> so you see, this suttas provides a, a guideline, right, for preserving the harmony in the monastic orders as well as in the lay communities right for creating uh, love right creating that kind of respect and that conduced to the cohesion and non-disputed live in concord and unity okay so this is a reason why the buddha the buddha dharma right the buddha sasana can prolong right and then we should also maintain this kind of uh, the spirit, this principle from the long lastings of the Buddha Sasana. That's why you find that the Buddhist Sangha is, is the longest organization in the, in, in the world because uh, this kind of uh, principles of uh, you know, the peaceful living, harmony living, you know, embedded in our Buddhist Sangha's communities. Okay, <clears throat> so. <clears throat> So there was a good example so I want to share with you is about the two great disciples of the Buddhas, uh, Sariputtas and Moggallana, right? They were very close friends from their from childhood. And both of them, yeah, Sariputtas and Moggallana, they developed an interest to live in their spiritual life. So at first, uh, they learned and practiced under one outside heretics called the Benjaya uh, Velatiputta. Okay, one very famous outsider's teacher. And later on, both of them left together with other 600, 500 disciples because their teacher right, cannot satisfy them, cannot teach them. <clears throat> so later on, Sariputta and Mokalana, right, uh, you know, they continue with their spiritual search and they split up in two different directions. And they told each other that so whoever found a good teacher, right? Please inform each other. So this is how the story says, uh, Sariputta met the Aswajit, the, the early disciples of the, uh, what, one, of the, one of the first five disciples of the Buddha, Asajit, Ma Ma, 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 ma Sen Bi Chung, or Aswajit. Huh? And then, you see this Aswajit, you know, he came out and pinned apart, he works very mindfully. Uh, and these Sariputtas look at him, well, got so much uh, impressed with his uh, serious, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, deportment, right? And that inspired the Sariputtas to go for it and ask, who is your teacher? You know, what you have learned from your teacher? You see, then As Aswajit, he was very humble. He said, I'm very new, right, uh, in the Buddha's teaching. I'm newly ordained. I have not much to, you know, to share with you, but I have something in short to share with you, right? So this is a very important message. It says, Ye dhamma hetu babahava, te sang hetu tathagato aha, te sang cha yo nirodho evang vadi maha samano. Okay, so this is a translation. Basically, it's talking about the yuan qi fa, la, or yuan qi fa, okay? So, so you see, after listening to this uh, brief, uh, the verse, uh, Sariputtas, wow, attain the first stage of sainthood. How many of you attain first stage of sainthood? After listening to this, yeah, he got, oh, immediately he attained the first stage of sainthood. And he was very happy. And Sariputta told Moglana, he's a very good friend, right, about his, uh, his uh, finding of this spiritual. Uh, what do you call uh, searched and uh, Sariputta told Moglana of the similar verse and it says that Moglana also attained the first sainthood oh tiyan lao chu guo liao mei mang zi ban very very fast okay so you can see that you know this Sariputta and Moglana together with other 500 you know their disciples you know ordained under the Buddhas